In this video, we will look at the results of our analysis. To create a new design, click on either of the two options here below New Design. Let's start with the gravity design. Here we can see the resulting forces, moments, and factors of safety from the inputs we selected. You can view the results for each course here, or you can view a summary of the results in the box down here. We can also see a cross-section drawing of our wall in the preview panel here. The software has selected the optimal blocks for the inputs we've selected, but we do have some commands available to change the block selection if we'd like. These commands can be found down here. For example, if you'd like to lengthen a block, the command is shift right on your keyboard. So I'll select this bottom course and click shift right, and the 48 inch block has been changed to a 60 inch block. Next, we can look at a reinforced design. The reinforced design tab is laid out, laid out the same as our gravity design tab, but we'll see rows of geogrid in the preview panel, and we have some new commands available to us. Here, for example, if we'd like to change the strength of geogrid, the command is control greater than. So I'll select this bottom course and click control greater than, and the SG200 geogrid has now been replaced with SG500 geogrid. It's important to note that each time you click on either of these two options under New Design, a new design is calculated. What that means is that any changes you made to the block or geogrid selection will be overwritten. So if I were to go here and change this block, when I click Gravity Design, it's going to go back to the standard default. Also, if I were to go back to any previous tab and make a change, clicking on one of these New Design options will include the changes we've made. So if I go back to Geometry tab, and let's change the height from 10 feet to 12 feet, when I click on Gravity Design, the height has been updated. Alternatively, clicking on either of the options under Existing Design will allow us to bring back, go back to the design we were just looking at without overriding anything. Now when I go to the Seismic Results tab, we'll see that it's blank. And that's because we left the Enable Seismic Results box unchecked, so let's go back and check that now. That's on the Seismic tab. Now when I create a new design, we'll see that Seismic is the default. And here we can see an example of what happens when the wall is failing. In this example, the bottom course is failing and overturning. So to fix that, I'll go to a reinforced design. I can view the existing designs for either Static or Seismic back-to-back -back here. Finally, the VertiBlock analysis software has a built-in global stability analysis tool. This tool is beyond the scope of these videos, but if you'd like more information on it, you can send me an email at ryan at vertigrete.com. That's all the, for the results. In the next video, we'll take a look at some of the final features of the program and print out our results.